Wizards of the Coast just announced that on October 26th, they are dropping five new standard pre-constructed decks on the MDG Arena store, and many of you are probably wondering whether or not they are worth it to buy. Now, in this video, I'll be answering that question for you. I'll be playing one of the pre-constructed decks, be doing five games with them, sharing my initial thoughts, and after the gameplay, I'll also be going over potential upgrades to make them even stronger, and whether or not they are worth buying in the first place. Now, at the point of this recording, I don't know exactly how expensive they will be, all I know is that they will be discounted based on the cards you already have in your collection. So definitely let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on these pre-constructed decks. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, chat. Here we are. We're having a look at the standard champion deck number two. This is the standard reanimator deck. They say sift through your deck and get cards into your graveyard for maximum value. Attack with giant flying creatures and reanimate them if your opponent tries to stop you. The standard reanimator deck will be available in the NC Arena store October 26 for a limited time and features these cards. So this is basically Azorius Peeps, right? <laughs> it's what we're looking at. Azorius Peeps, but like make it standard best of one, but for, for some reason they are cheaping out on throwing cyborgs in there, I guess. Yeah, I, this deck at, on first glance looks almost perfect. Like... <laughs> You're missing a couple of cards, but outside of that, you have the peep stack, I would say. Uh, let's have a look. What is it exactly? What is it missing if you're looking at the most recent like peep stack that did well? Uh, let's see. And this is like Azorius Tempo is a top like three standard deck, by the way. Like it's it's up there. Absolutely 100% tier one. Um. So we're seeing the four helping hands. We're only seeing three flop maws, but we do see three soul partitions as well, which is nice. It's lacking phantom interference, which is a really solid card in the original deck. So what's happening in here is that the counter counter magic has been substituted for removal is what's happening mostly. So we're, we're lacking the three phantom interference. We're lacking the two copies of three, uh, three steps ahead. You do still have your charter courses, you got your moment of truth, you got your recommissions. Uh, you have your four copies of Prankster, Oculus, Jin. So counter spells have basically been replaced by two copies of Get Lost and two temporary lockdowns. And there's somehow also four Elspeth Smites in here. How many lands are we playing? 20, which is true to the, um, uh, the original deck. The mana, four Meticulous Archive, two Furges, four Chromes. So they're kind of cheaping out a little bit on the Verges but that's all right that's all right <laughs> yeah they cheaped out a little bit of the lands there but yeah the interesting thing is not playing um the counter magic so i would definitely want to find a way to play that into or shove that into the sideboard so i won't bother with the three steps ahead because i, I still believe in making a sideboard that's as budget friendly as you get it so you could just craft these cards with whatever uncommons or commons you have left rather than like buying more rares for mythic or, or rare cards in the sideboard so i won't be playing or shoving three steps ahead in there even though i maybe would um so now we're just looking at like okay what can we do here for the sideboard so i would normally find a way to probably play um ghost vacuum but i think once again we're gonna like go with the cheaper option in the form of uh, Soul Guide Lantern, probably. I like Exercise a lot. I think it's a very flexible removal spell that I'll definitely uh, find a way to shove in the sideboard here. Mm, so let's see, three interferences, negates. I think we might want to mess with Disdainful Strokes too. Just give yourself a little bit of like that tempo strategy that you can eventually like board into. Um, what else do we want to mess with? So the peep stacks nowadays play Monastery Mentor as kind of like a, another way to win. Um, another way to win the game if your your graveyard hate gets stopped, or <clears throat> your graveyard gets stopped by hate. I don't really know if there's like a cheap alternative that we can mess with maybe is that a is that a rare i think it is isn't it storm chaser talent is a rare as well okay hmm i think you might just like have to commit to 
the strategy, right? Like, we could just play another, like, exercise. I don't think Kusil, Kusil Flanker is a rare as well, isn't it? It is, okay. We can, we can, we can always budget build. Yo, Ryan, thank you so much for that. We can always budget build, uh, but we'll have to think about it. So we got the smites, we got the lockdowns. Counter magic, removal. Um, the main board is definitely a best of one main board, though. Not a good to run lockdown in main in best of three. I don't think it hurts, chat. Like, I truly don't think playing lockdowns in the main hurt. I mean, I, I personally am much more of a fan of the, the tempo package. That's how I built the deck when we went on our insane win streak, but it's fine. Like, there's so much, so many creatures in the meta, like Elspeth Smite and Temporary Lockdown don't have to be dead cards. So it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Even though you could swap them around and I think it would be a lot better for best of three. But yeah, these decks are technically going to be advertised on the store as best of one decks, which not really a fan of that. But it's okay, you know? It's it's okay, I guess. Let's see, maybe I'll do another Flood Maw on the sideboard. Get a little bit more uh, creative with that, I guess, and another Soul Guide Lantern. Why not? There we go. That'll be okay. Champion deck number two. Azorius Oculus. Peeps. All right, so let's do this. We have uh, we've built a deck. We've given it a sideboard. Yeah. Now we're going to see if it can uh, if it can win games. Now, if it's anywhere close near the original, the power of the original deck, which I think it will be, we'll have a good deck on our hands. But I will let you know that no matter like this deck will be expensive. <laughs> this will be the daddy dollar decks of the uh, the deck the pre-con decks that they're dumping on the store for sure. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Uh, it's probably more going to be in the direction of 150, I would imagine. I mean, we could try hit a land stonks. Counter spells would reduce the cost. <laughs> yeah, it would have actually look down and uh, look down and what is the other one? Um, look down is a rare. Yeah, there you go. And soul partition is also. Yeah, this is probably this deck will have to be over like 150, I think. I cannot imagine it under. Yeah, you shove that in a graveyard. And then you could try to reanimate it if we want. I think we just hold it though. We're playing against Demir right now. They're gonna find a way to like remove our shit, probably. So we can helping hand and hold up sword position or something. And also for like the deck, the difficulty of the deck that we'll talk about after we play our five games, this deck is hard to play. <laughs> this is really like advanced stuff. Next level stuff. Malcolm's comeback era. Yeah, it really is true. I'm going to soul partition that. Yeah, I feel like the mono black deck very much beginner friendly. Hopefully around $50 and not more than that. But this one, sheesh. <laughs> this one, this is advanced gaming. All right, here we go. We got our gym back. Hopefully it lives, but against Demir, it's hard to get something to stick. See, this is where I would normally love to dig for a counter spell. I guess we got a Soul Perdition. That's not too bad either. Or else with Smite, which is really good against Enduring Curiosity. 
I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put the gin in the grave, the soul perdition back into Jack so I can reanimate it. Okay. Smite would be a perfect answer here. We we kind of need it. But the thing is, they will probably play counter spells themselves, but we'll see. Lucky Smite on Curiosity. One time. Huge if true. <laughs> Huge if true. All right, all right. That's pretty, pretty massive. I could try to chart into a land, maybe. I will probably just remove this. You're not going to get value, mastermind, get lost. Ooh, it's peeps. Fire off another one. All right, all right. Yeah, this deck is cooking. Like, there's just no way it's not going to work, I feel. But it's just going to... You're just going to go, like, broke <laughs> trying to afford this, I think. Like, it's cooking, right? It's cooking, but... You take it back, main deck smite is great. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, you just have to skip your rent this month, but then you can afford the MDG Arena pre-constructed Oculus deck, you know? It's vibes. Okay, if Sleight of Hand hits a land, are we happy? Probably. We believe, we believe. That's fine, we just soul partition that. We're hit it with get lost. Like, this doesn't stop us, really. Okay. Land drop missed. Sight of hand. More like sight of land. I got him. It would be nice. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out if I can get there. Because Leyland of the Void is in play, right? So... I think that messes our plan up a little bit. Gonna balance it, I think. Nah, nah, it's not something that's possible. It's not. Okay. Land for the girlies. I mean, to be fair, I got very greedy with this hand. You know, on the draw. Thriving. Sorta. Anyways, we can still hit a land and get out of here. You gotta believe. You gotta believe, guys. Maybe. Wow, the double fountain port? That's... Wow. Alright, I'm no longer believing. Let's get out of here. I got greedy. I won't do that again. I got greedy. I got greedy. Nah. <laughs> nah, not 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 there. Not with the Leyland of the Void in play. Not with the Leyland in play. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We're we're working on it. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. The background's going to be a lot cooler, I hope. So, working on it. Is this going to be a counter moment? Fairy mastermind moment? Ooh, oh, whoa, that was insane. Wait, the double peeps? <laughs> Pause champ? D double peeps? I think peeps is definitely going to be 
dead, but it's fine. Live, peeps, live. Hopefully they just have a mastermind that they flash in. No, let them live, let them live. Don't be evil. Dead peeps, rip. All right, we got more though. We got another recommission in hand. Yes, we're playing the pre-cons today. That got announced. So we just did Mono Black. We're now having a look at the uh, reanimator deck, I guess is what they call it. Azorius reanimator. Standard reanimator. Great. Another one. Thank you. All right, will peeps live? Another one. Oh, this time around, it's even an exile effect. Okay. Yikes. Keeps down, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You don't need to save for wild cards with this deck. You just need to save your money. <laughs> that's That's what you can do with this stuff. You, you don't need you don't need walkers you need money these are will be available in the arena store on the 26 and we're checking out whether or not they're good or bad but this is almost like identical to the o oculus deck that we played on day one of duskmorn so it will be a banger all right does this one live come on man okay it lives at least Whew. You just need your credit card, not wild cards. Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, that's awesome to turn up if we can find our third land drop. It even plays the exact amount of lands that you need in the, the best of three decks. 20 lands. And the card is gone. Rip. At least I got a 2-2 two -two out of that. Let's go. Let's go. Do I have another one in there? I don't. <laughs> Alright, see if we can hit a land. I'm really grateful for all the peeps that are showing up, but man, do I need a land. Ah, 20 lens is what it, where it's at. 20 lens is perfect. This deck literally works with 20 lands. At least our Lid Out of the Void is like pretty much ass right now, so that's great. Peeps. Get it, peeps. Another one. All right. I swear I thought I had already seen four peeps. It feels like I'm playing with five of them. <laughs> uh, thank you, Remy. I feel like I've seen five peeps now. Opponent with four spyglass sirens, me with five peeps. What a game. Yes, this is uh, going to be available to for purchase. All right, homie. <laughs> all right, homie. They're all yours. I have one peeps and I don't need more than that. I would like to find a land though. Still? I'm going to just pass a turn here. What is a land? Yeah, if you... When you find out, let me know. Right, so I'm just going to uh, bounce that with Soul Partition. God, they fell for... Uh, they fell for that so hard, dude. Unreal. They fell for that so hard. That's, cr that's crazy, actually. There's a gin under here somewhere, isn't there? Five. I hit for ten. So close. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here. I'm just gonna like replay a new one, actually. 
Yeah, like, I think it'll just replay one and then it's fine. <laughs> All right. All right, got myself a drink and a protein bar. Let's go. These main board temporary lookdowns are going to be clutch. Are you going to Vegas? Yes. I'll be there. Is this, uh... The, Be the Beetlejuice Fanta. Nah, I heard that would kill me, <laughs> so... I'm, I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with that. I'm a bit scared of it. Heard very horrible stories. We say Fanta three times. I'll <laughs> summon a bottle in front of you. Oh, word. <laughs> Is that how it works? <clears throat> a lot of lands, guys. A lot of lands. Okay. Let's look that down before there's like even more um, delirium value to come out of that. Seems good. I'm actually surprised at how much these like attacks are working out <laughs> the the lockdowns and the smites we'll see kind of cooking with this one maybe yo spook thank you for the 38 appreciate it
All right, there we go. Sorry about that one. People are yapping to me. Yeah, that was not it, guys. Delirium was fire. Couldn't really stop that. I was like trying to dig for um, some answers, but we just had gins, which isn't a bad thing usually, but it was right now. Mm, hopefully we got to try. We, we got to try. I mean, I think we should have a pretty good strategy here. A lot of strong exile effects. I mean... As long as we can get to the right cards. To do something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So far, like I said, I'm, I'm really supporting the uh strategy to play lookdowns and smites in the main it seems to be working out for this meta at least or today i'm gonna try to like stop this Mm -hmm. Value. We fire off look down here or soul guy lantern, I mean. Yo, peeps. How are you? We have to be really careful with this like temporary look down. Might just want to like pop the soul guy lantern to draw a card, maybe. All right, I guess we're drawing a card. okay with that on top actually okay we have good answers in hand though we got good answers so the last time I played paper magic that was uh Command Fest London, I think. Less than a month ago. So, see if we can make moves to get peeps out, maybe. Definitely no shortage of lands there. Okay, so hand, graveyard, library. Gonna get rid of that, I think. Actually, pretty gas draw there.
Start with Soul Gut Lantern, maybe? We'll hit the artifacts, dude. Now, I could get rid of the Ghost Vacuum, but it's also something that I could look down. So I think that'll probably be what I'm landing on. I could get rid of the Tunnel Grinder, but... It's still good lines for Ghost Vacuum better. I think Ghost Vacuum is always better, but what we're doing here is that we're basically... The sideboard that we're doing for these um, Arena Precon decks, because they come without a sideboard. So I'm keeping I'm keeping the side, sideboard exclusive to commons and uncommons. It's kind of the part of the challenge here. So that if you end up buying this deck and you want to play best of three, that you can do that. You, you don't have to spend additional rares on getting sideboard cards. It's kind of, uh, yeah, what I'm, I was trying to do. I got a slam peeps here, I think. So we just played Mono Black Discard, and now we're having a look at Azorius uh, Reanimator. All right, exercise. Let's go, peeps. And now it doesn't really matter what we get. We're just hoping that it's going. The peeps is going to be enough. We have survived two picker poisons already, so that's good. I I would say vacuum is always better than um than uh the um, soul guide lantern, but rare versus uncommon, you know. So <laughs> that's what we're working with. All right, here we're gonna we're gonna lock it down. I'm gonna just do that immediately right now, even though like I mean I don't have an attack with the two two anyways, so. Yeah, I think Vacuum is awesome. I think Vacuum is great. Vacuum is baby, basically like a baby in License, in license Hearse. And License Hearse was a go-to graveyard hate for so long. It seems fine. It seems fine. FOMO has arrived. Really, really careful with bouncing FOMO because it's a pretty strong way to uh, work with Delirium. I'll swap, swap addition it though. That's not a problem for me, but. Boop. Three FOMOs. <laughs> it's a party up in here, I guess. We're, we're drawing the party with peeps. Hello, peeps. None of them wanted to miss out. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't want to miss out. As long as we're like filling up the graveyard, we'll be okay. Uh, we black card we've seen has been Tyvar. I was about to say, isn't that missed? Missed trigger. So I was thinking bouncing a FOMO or maybe not bouncing Patchwork Bestie. And then playing Oculus again, a new Oculus. Mm. 
like a FOMO that I want to balance because it could actually turn into card draw as well. Nah, they, they hit Delirium with the Fable Passage crack. They missed it up on the... while attacking just now. It's really hard. Army of FOMOs is not something that I want to deal with. I think I'm just going to see if I can bounce Patrick Bestie and then we'll replay. Oculus Army. And peeps we trust. Yeah, that's fine. Manifesting Dread Gamers. Oh, man, I would have loved that look down. So we'll just make sure there's sorceries in a graveyard. For the, um, the gin if we ever get it. Those are all like super small decisions that end up eventually like mattering in this deck, right? Like you'd rather have an instant or sorcery in your graveyard than a non-instant or sorcery because of uh, the gin. All right, ended up clutching that one though. Like it, this is just, this is like a tier one deck that you'll be able to buy and pick up. The problem is that the deck is very hard to play. <laughs> it's a very difficult deck to play. Like it's not as if I could be a new player and with some cash in my pocket and be like, yeah, I'm picking up this tier one deck and I'll be immediately, you know, working with a 70, 80% win rate. Like it's, it's a hard deck to play. Whereas the mono black deck, not as high of a win rate, not as good in the meta, but definitely a lot easier, easier to play for sure. This deck though, like you're going to be able to buy a tier one deck in the store right now. Like Azorius Oculus is literally in the top three of standard decks right now. It, it really is out there as one of the decks to beat. It's crazy. This is truly one of the best decks in standard right now, and you'll be able to just purchase it. I mean, I didn't think that the mono black was necessarily garbage, but uh, <laughs> my, my greatest concern with this deck is that it's going to you're going to have to pay up is the thing you're, you're going to have to pay up let's see if we can free to fay well there's still a few things where this deck is different than like the stock version that sees play in best of three like there's still some differences but I guess I'll pick up the Charter Course. You get my, my homie peeps started here. Sheesh. Let's get rid of that. I'm actually considering holding Flood Mall. I'm actually... See, this is one of those moments that you'd be like, yeah, I'm going to immediately fire off this and I'll be fine. But like, it's one of those moments where I actually cannot you could just get blown out by specific things that your opponent could do or play it's one of those moments where you just have to think about decks that how do i say this decks that have barely any win cons in them are very hard to play it's very this is a very unforgiving deck you make one mistake you could mess mess up so hard So I really got to find a way to, to clutch this one here. So let's get Oculus. The first peeps has entered. Let's pass. I really have to be respectful of my opponent having crazy turns or like having like sheltered by ghosts and things like, like that. Like ideally we don't pay the word cost and we could just bounce in response, you know? Because if we have to pay the ward cost and it's an additional two mana that we're spending that, you know, we could have been spending like holding up a bounce effect or holding up card draw or something like that. We want to have that under there because then this gets stronger. It's a very, very hard deck to play, but the rewards, the rewards. The value. 
right, so I'm gonna see if I can block the hardfire hero, see if they maybe have a might of the meek or something. A monstrous rage! Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Bye. Mm, I think I value my life total, yeah. I'm just gonna soul partition that as well. We'll be able to replay that, but... And now it's like, what do we set up? Peeps or gin? Peeps or gin? Gotta be peeps, I think. Like, going wide, creating a bunch of blockers. And then you also fuel the other gin in your hand as well at the same time again. There we go. So this is a bit lower now, but the, the oculus are going to just hopefully shove two innocent or sorceries in the grave again. And that'll grow. It's just too much. Like, you just cannot beat the double peeps. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. Uh, not a whole lot we can do here, I think. We could play another Flood Maw, but... Over maybe a sleight of hand. Outside of that, I think we're, like, good to go. So far, we've just done the champion decks, which should be the better ones. But I will play every single one of them. Um, and we're going to put them to the test. So I have not yet gotten to the Golgari one. We've done Mono Black, and now we're doing Peeps. All right. Why is Mentor being played in a deck? Oh, they play it in the sideboard in the... the, the you know, S tier competitive peep stacks because it's a an alternative win condition if you get a hit by a bunch of graveyard hate. Which I, I like it. I like it. I like the mentor strategy. Every deck list can be found in the the arena announcements. Um, and they will be on the store on October twenty sixth. So. Gotta wait a couple more days and then you can buy this if you'd like. Giant Crab, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Okay. This is gonna be a fire temporary lockdown. Darken, thank you for the 17. These decks are technically coming without a side sideboard, but I play best of three. I want you guys to start playing best of three, so I make I give all of them a budget sideboard, basically. Budget sideboard plan for the win. So you don't have to suffer anymore in standard best of one. <laughs> Strategies. All right, let's look it down. Wish I could hold up Soul Partition to for the for the look down, but you're sick of best of one. See, that's why we're here to help. You could buy one of these stacks, and then you have a sideboard that I've, I've made for you, and you're good to go. I think they're are they cooked? I think they're cooked. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna just reanimate one of them. All right then. Definitely for gems. <laughs> The current ones are just gems. All right. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think it does much for me. Yeah, definitely gems. But how many is the question? So pass the turn. Is this a Golgari crime? Maybe... I'll grab a smite. It's always good against Golgari to have smite. All right, guys. It's time. It's time. Our friend Peeps has arrived. Hey, Peeps. I'll play the prankster too in case of Liliana. 
Well, I mean, I guess Oculus is already protected against Liana, but you know. Yeah, either is whatever. Turn three Oculus in my lane, moisturized, thriving. Kind of a weird moment to fire that off. All right, we're gonna go Jin. All right, well, we've yet to uh, see them play something. Man, that's a lot of exile in the main. Holy. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't worry about it. Just got hit by two annoyance. Uh -huh. It's Golgari control. I mean, at least Glissa's kind of cooked, you know? Me and my my lands thriving. I mean, I'm I'm very fortunate to have double else with smite here because that's that's dangerous. We we had an else with smite revealed, so you know. I mean, I'd like to have that, but we're going to get peeps here first, so. Let's see, what are we going to get rid of? Land, creature, and then it doesn't really matter. Man, we got to hit something good here. Yikes. Um, our... 20 land deck is flooding out a little bit, chat. <laughs> just, just a little bit, not too much. Oh man. We're literally sitting on a 25% chance of hitting a land right now, and we're still actively top decking lands. After such a great start, being faced with two annoyance and flooding your ass off is uh, big yikes for me, chief. Big yikes. Big yikes. Yeah, it's just gonna get my graveyard hate now. Fun to ditching helping hand. Do you understand how abhorrent Oculus works? No, you don't. Else you wouldn't say punt ditching helping hand. Punt back trying to backseat me, bestie. Yep, here we go. Rip my graveyard. Let's see what this can do for us. Soul Partition of Shoulder Red. Uh. Still so many lands. Okay. Yeah, right, right. Most people are aware. <laughs> I think we're just done for here, man. I could partition my own gin and replay it and then what, you know, yeah. It's gonna be very hard to recover from this. Like, I can't really think of any chains that could get us out of this. Appreciate you, Ponyo. Mm. Okay. I actually thought I had a gin in here, but it's got exiled again, didn't it? It's fine. <laughs> 
or just cook. It's just too many lands. Don't stand a chance. I couldn't really think of a, ch a chain that would win us the game there. Because it would somehow have to involve getting an Oculus down. Chomping with Prankster and maybe like also find a way to deal with Shouldered somehow still. That's really rough. It was very, very hard to get out of that one. That was hard. Okay, now it's just a one lander. Yikes. This is greed. I want to go greed. Let's do it. Greed is good, gamers. Greed is good. Ah, you mad. No value. We're just, we just hard counter to rest. So I think I'll just pick up the helping hand, even though we saw so much exile removal from them that I'm almost thinking that might not do shit, but I'll grab it either way. Let's go in with the gin. Okay, then. I guess we just gotta let Glissa cook right now. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Go with Glissa. Combining Hall Creeper and Mockingbird Oculus. I think that's a lot of fun. I'm not sure how efficient it is, though. I'm not sure how you would get Oculus out quickly. But it does seem fun. You don't sweat Glissa when all she's good first drawing. Oh, I do. I do. Like, I Glissa starts drawing cards. I I hate it. I do. Right then. Pick up a bounce. All right, gamers, look at that life total and look at our gins. Not too bad. We're going to fire off that counter. When she deletes your bandit class. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, that's not good. There's probably even an angle where we could one shot our opponent with or one shot where we could just win with one gin rather than two. They're at five. This puts them to six. This puts them to seven. We kind of just hit one sorcerer instant. actually tempted to bounce that instead of giving them a way out, but I could also just bounce one of my gins. Then again, if they deal one damage to draw a card, that puts us in lethal range for sure, so... Okay, so that's gonna hit my graveyard. Hmm, that's tough. That is tough, though. I gotta believe. I gotta believe.
All right, we can still get there next turn. Soul Petition puts these to two power each plus the Picklock Prankster. That's five. Let's see what happens to that. No. What are we playing, Chief? Better not be another fillback. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we you you could de technically do that. Like if what we're think what they're playing is not threatening enough, I could always pick up my own prankster. I think, but is that another one? This time around for life gain and exile. Or d does that work? If I pick up prankster, can I still play the adventure side again? I've actually never done that. Okay, that's good to know. I'm gonna try it then. I don't know, I was like, I was just hoping there wouldn't be a rule that screws us over. So, anyway, I think we're fine. Graveyard. All right, cool. If I was playing by myself, I would have just done it anyways, but I didn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass myself on stream anyway. Turn one Oculus. I've never believed more in my whole life, chat. No, I guess not turn one. Turn two, maybe. Turn two Oculus? Damn. Where did that land? Would you like to discard my my oculus there bestie would you would you like to do that it's actually that was actually terrible terrible discard for us really uh really needed that prankster kind of that was pretty tough that was pretty tough okay this is uh another another shot at doing something though let's see if we can hit something mm and grave nope it's another whiff <laughs> well thanks bestie you try you try nerve-wracking sometimes but You're gonna steal my oculus? Nope, they stole my moment of truth instead. Just jumping that. Yeah, we got some uh, scary, scary things to deal with, really. They said no to Liliana. Not suspicious at all. Not suspicious at all. I think you just got I think you just got to go for this, right? Like I think you just got to go for this. Hmm. Well, Gari just has a lot of answers versus us. Just a lot of answers. Okay, at least I didn't gift. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Dude, I'll block Shelly any day. Any day. Don't even worry about it. I feel like I just got to chump the card, though. 
Can it remove now? And then they're going to do Restless Cottage to exile it. I'm in trouble. It's too much exile. Oh, they didn't do that, though. They didn't exile the card. That's interesting. So then it has to be Frill back. Yeah, it's Frill back. Oh, brother. It's just so much hate. Like, it's just so much. It's like Golgari is just like the perfect anti-Oculus package. Insane graveyard hate. Good disruption. You know, discard package, duress, duresses, cruel claws, Liliana's, like everything. It's just perfect answers. It's really nothing. I and and they were prepared because we lost game one because they had main board frillbacks and annoyance. So they had the, the main board strategy against us as well. Two planes. Nope. I also would have been gas, but I can do that. I want to go greed. I'm going to go greed. No, I think I think you can definitely find if you can find a way to like slot anoint of anoint in the main over maybe like a cut down, you you do that for sure, I feel. Alright. Are we still playing the decks going into the store? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, this is a good one at least. Else main board else but smite stonks. Let's fucking go. Shout out to the Wizards of the Coast deck builders. <laughs> Love to see it. Probably bouncing the mouse. Partitioning it. Yeah. Wait, why couldn't I... Why does it skip me? Why did it skip the combat? <laughs> Why would it just skip the combat, dude? That's not right. Whatever. That now gave them a land of the top that they can play out, by the way. It's so fucked up. I'm trying I'm trying not to be irritated by that, but I am. Arena spaghetti code. It's just messed up. Alright then, guess I'll go in full control. <laughs> Jeez. It's not right. Yo, let's go. I mean, this might be because they have Snakeskin Veil then. I have no clue. Hoping not, though. Okay, well, that might have worked out just now. Helping hand. What do I grab with a helping hand? Potentially some gas. I could maybe reanimate my gin. Yeah, that, that was messed up. That just gave them a land on the top that allowed them to, like, try not to think about how bad that was for us. <laughs> just focus on what's happening right now and stay locked in, I guess. All right. So, they are in top deck mode at least. They are in top deck mode. But they have a manifold mouse. Oh shit. Okay, that's not great. Oh my god, shout out to the Wizards of the Coast deck builders. Let's fucking go. <laughs> let's fucking go. The Wizards deck builders, let's go. Let's go. Never said anything bad about them. We stand. God, let me take a bunch of damage first here, but yeah. Shout out, shout out. 
I'm surprised they didn't hold up green so that they could pay for the thingy, but Popo Festi, oh my god, this is so nice. Main board look down, you know the opponent's mad. Um Am I in position to attack? Yes, I think so. Should probably do this first. See if we can half their life total. Ooh, the peeps. No, I would regret that. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't do that. Not because of the pain land. You know, I was hoping that would wouldn't happen that fast, but it's okay. So helping hand gets me peeps. Get lost removes this. I'm loyal. I'm, I'm loyal to the peeps. I think this might be a, a mistake. Also, I just put the, the wrong card in there, but it shouldn't change the clock that much. Well, clogging the board doesn't have to get you too far, though. It's trample and stuff. Because they have a potential to top deck something that buffs up the challenger and then do it again, right? Like Might of the Meek into Monster's Rage or something, and then you'd much rather have a get lost than a 2-2 two -two and a 1-3. <sighs> I might be in danger. <sighs> Dodged a massive bullet. I think by far get lost was the right answer, but Peeps is... <laughs> Oculus was the greedy one, Get Lost was the safe one, so... If I was playing in a tournament there, I would have always grabbed Get Lost, I think, because it just gives them outs, whereas, like, Oculus... It, Oculus gives them outs, Get Lost basically makes it so that there is no out for them, so... Anyways, I was playing Arena Ladder, it is what it is, but... Never punish? Yeah, ne never on this stream, man, never on this stream. <laughs> You do not know what punishment is. You wave back at Favolta. Such a bestie. Yeah, they were really, uh, they were really flooded. They must be pissed. Oof, mold of four. And the good game, like, I'm sorry, bestie. You might be cooked. Can I, can I give them uh, <laughs> this one in response? That's evil. I'm not doing that. Gonna hit the challenger with soul partition because I feel like it gives them an out. Try like, drawing lands on the top and stuff. They triggered a valiant. Still a pause there. Need to hit a land. Gusting Druid is good. Paul Patch Formation is rising in stonks right now. I feel like people are playing Paul Patch Formation over like Picture Poison. More often than not. I wonder if I'm supposed to do that in Cookies or something. I'm just thinking about just resetting this. Let's see if I can fire off 
prankster even though i don't hate get lost that's probably get lost here actually i'm at 12 and i have not really set anything up yet so i gotta be careful so then now peeps Hitting Overlord and tracks us stonks. Yeah. Peeps, peeps, peeps. And a gin. All right. That could be nice. We can turn that face up and fire off the free to fay. I'm always a bit scared giving the map tokens because it's so good for their jack with triggering Valiant and stuff. Maybe drawing them a land. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, do I just turn that face up and fire off a prankster? Or do I not bother with that? Just fire off prankster alone? I'm not sure. We're getting we're getting good gamed. Come here, peeps. Ooh, there's a peeps face down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like we shouldn't we shouldn't give them an out, right? I gotta see if I can. It's a face down peeps, a private eye. <laughs> uh, yes. Private eye. <laughs> Silly. Nah, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Oof. Getting a little, a little thick over there. So that's 10. Oh, they just gave up. I mean, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I, I was so I was thinking about just letting it go through because I could get lethal the next turn. That was the math on that. I was or at least I was trying to see if that could be possible, but I don't think it was. I don't think Land of the Top would have won us the game. One, two, three. He would have done it. He's still been off. But anyways, I was gonna try. So gamers. Five games with the champion deck, uh, standard reanimator, record four and one. Deck still felt incredibly cracked. I would say that this is definitely on a similar power level as like the go to tier one version of the deck. Now, if you purchase this in the store, you don't get the, the sideboard with it. But like I said, the sideboard that we are have here is basically Uncommon's Uncommon's. So you could just craft that or maybe you have them in your collection from opening packs and you're ready to go. Um, the biggest difference with this deck versus the stock version, we spoke about this already as well, is that the stock version doesn't have lockdowns or smites in the main and just has them in the sideboard. And instead has cards like Phantom Interference and Three Steps Ahead in the main, but I guess you could technically go like three Phantom Interference and... Maybe like negates or another like counter spell. There's a new counter spell as well in the game, I believe. That's uh, what is it called? That's not. Is it get? Is it get out? Is that possible? Yeah, like maybe you could play something like that or another like counter that hits something or you know long river spool. Those are all uncommon like options as well that you could go with. Yeah, I would definitely say that if you're thinking about like upgrading this deck list something like three steps ahead is great to craft you could get really close to the full like exact 75 that everybody's playing so yeah my recommendations if you want to <clears throat> buy this deck and then upgrade it craft three steps ahead and get yourself some monastery mentors um for uh for the sideboard because that's also a strategy where or that like oculus players are working with nowadays 
outside of that you could also still get yourself an additional verge um that's also not bad you could also upgrade your graveyard hate with ghost vacuums but there's truly not many upgrades that you need to make with this deck like you could do a few to have the exact 75 but this deck is strong enough to win like you could win tournaments with this <laughs> yeah in my opinion you could win tournaments with this the, the one thing that you could also do is if you don't like the smite and lockdown package you could still like i said just put the counter spells in the main and put these in the sideboard you can do that but honestly the smites and the lockdowns in the main felt pretty good in my opinion i was really happy to have them rather than having the counter spells now maybe that was just because of the decks that i faced today but you know maybe another day you you face a lot of domain and then or or control and then you're not happy with these but we didn't really see any domain decks today and just saw mostly creature decks so smite and lockdown felt awesome you can at least like change those around um cheaply so it's a great deck it's definitely tier one and standard top three decks to play right now and you basically get exactly that the thing is the problem with this deck is is that whereas the mono black champion deck very easy to pick up this one very very difficult to pick up like i'm sure there's people in the chat that can agree with me here that if you play this if you pick up this peep stack and you kind of not re don't really how to pilot tempo decks or you know are familiar with this play style you're going to have a bad time for at least like 10 to 20 games like it's hard you have like four basically eight cards that end up winning you the game and obviously there are ways to reanimate them etc but it's hard man it's a very complex deck when you you know sometimes you have to hold back and wait for the right moment you got to figure out when to fire off you know, when to commit to the board or when to hold back removal or hold back a counter spell if you mess up that timing it could cost you one of your win cons and you could just be you know the game could just like slip away from you it's very tricky but at the same time it's a very rewarding deck i think it's a lot of fun to play and i think obviously this is a tier one deck like this is going to probably be the strongest deck that you can pick up um in the store on the 26th now speaking of picking things up in the store <laughs> um i'm worried about how expensive this deck is going to be that's kind of the thing so let's have a look at the rare so we got the lookdowns we got the darker waste the verges the archives and the sea crumb coast like that is four six like that's like 10 14 like that is already like 14 rares in the lands then you have the lookdowns, the gins, that's more rares on top of that. Then you have the oculus there as well. Then you have three soul partitions in there too. And I think that's kind of it for... Oh, and you still have the get lost. There you go. Another rare card. So this is expensive. <laughs> you can purchase these decks, this deck on the store on the 26, yes. So this is going to be expensive, I think. Um, if you're con considering the arena economy, I think... I hope that you can purchase like I, this is so awful to say I hope you can buy this for a hundred dollars <laughs> hopefully under of course but considering how much they ask for these decks a hundred dollars or under would be fantastic I definitely wouldn't go over 150 but yeah you are getting a top tier deck the, the problem with this deck though is that these cards are very specific to this deck minus the lands of course like you're going to have great azorius lands but outside of that like the rares are very much like specific to this deck so keep that in mind if you're considering purchasing this i really hope that it's like a hundred dollars and not over that but <laughs> you know the thing is like with any of these bundles they will get discounted based on the cards that you have in your collection. So if you already have the Azorius lands, then you will be saving a lot of money when you purchase. But if you have a fresh account with no cards in it, I really hope this doesn't go over a hundred. Um, yeah, fifty dollars it will never be. Like it will never be, especially if you have a look at the uh, the other deck lists that they're they're advertising. It will not be like <laughs> there's there's no way that it's going to be 50. i'm hoping that the mono black deck is 50 dollars or under i hope this is 100 dollars or under um but anywhere between 100 and 150 i can still see i guess considering how much of a whale economy is going on in arena yeah i, I wouldn't go over 150 but you know we can only hope for the best 
still if you commit to buying something like this you are getting a, a tier one standard deck so that is incredibly fun to play super rewarding and definitely skills with skill level as well so yeah with with arena gems this is all for arena gems on paper this deck isn't cheap either though born oculus goes for quite a lot of money right now like this might actually still end up being cheaper on arena than it is in paper <laughs> because of how expensive oculus is but yeah i don't know i don't know it's a good deck though that's for sure so Thank you.